guys, welcome back to SEGA SPARK WEEKEND on the Sonic Hour. Today we continue on with Sonic Advance 2! We're nearing the end of this. This is like the last zone zone. And then we've got like a final boss kind of thing going on after this. Well, not final boss, but... In the main storyline without collecting all the Chaos Emeralds. That's what we're going with here. Kind of similar how in the last Sonic Advance... There was, like, a final, like, zone zone, and then there was, like, the, uh, three bosses that you would have to fight, where they went all, like, retro, like, with the whole s floating ball thing, and then the car from Sonic 2, and then... I'm getting ahead of myself. We're getting ahead of ourselves here. Let's beat this freaking egg base up here. Oh, look at that, it's so cool. Whoop, wrong button. <laughs> ah, Buzz Bombers. So classic. Whoopsie daisy. My life just flipped right above that. I think I'll go up! Ha <laughs> ha, oh boy. Don't wanna get squished by that. I <laughs> love Sonic's animation for that. Look, it's our homies from freaking Sonic Adventure. I love these guys so much. Every time they show up, I'm so happy. Can't remember what the hell their freaking name is technically, but I love them. And we fall into deep space. I guess I could have grinded on that one rail, but I gave up. <laughs> Never give up. Never surrender. I think there was a uh, special coin up there. Special ring. I still need to look up what they're technically called. Ow! Man, when you get actually stung by a buzz bomber and not like shot at by one. It's a little, uh, makes me feel a little sad. Whoa, oh boy. No, no, stupid controller. I was pushing down, not to the right. Hey, oh, this is going smoothly. I'm still playing with the freaking bad controller. I'm already down to zero lives left. Oh yeah, gravity's a thing in this uh, game. Whoa, boy. Dang it, do I love this music. It's, look at this. I feel like I'm in space. Which Sonic goes into a lot when you think about it. Ever since Sonic 2, Sonic's just been going to space a lot. More than Mario. Woo boy! You know, I was actually having a conversation with someone about, uh, like, what we think, like, are some of the best games made and stuff like that. And, like, someone was asking me, what do you think the best, like, 3D Mario is? I know a lot of people would say Odyssey, but since I technically haven't actually played that yet, I have no really... I can't really say that I think it's the best because I haven't personally played it. But I think the best 3D Mario... I love how I just stopped playing the game just so I could have this conversation. I think the best 3D Mario has got to be Mario Galaxy 1. I, I just think that one's just amazing. It was the first one to like really blow our minds with Mario. In my opinion, like on the Wii and stuff like that. A lot of people would say, would think, hey, Mario Galaxy 2 is probably better. Well, yep. Maybe, but I think Mario Galaxy 1 had a bigger impact and just blew all of our minds first and stuff like that. Mario Galaxy 2 was just more of the same, really, with just some additional power-ups. And Yoshi. You can use Yoshis. And I botched that. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. 
No need to fast forward. We haven't made that much progress in the past five minutes that we've been playing this. Oh yeah, remember this intro? So long ago. Not that long ago. Alright, so last time we were on this, uh, all the other characters were blacked out. So here's Cream, Tails, Knuckles, and Sonic. Sonic. All the characters have been unlocked in the main story. That are playable at the moment. I say at the moment because there is a way to unlock Amy, but you have to play as Cream for that. Ah, uh, look at all these zones that we were playing at. And now back to Egg Utopia. Three, two. Okay, let's try to beat this zone at least. Yeah, so when you beat the game with uh, a specific character and you have all the Chaos Emeralds, you can actually unlock bonuses. Sonic unlocks the Chow Garden. Cream unlocks uh, Amy, like I just said before. I honestly can't remember what Tails and Knuckles unlock, or if Amy unlocks anything. But yeah, this game has a lot of replayability, and since it's really tough to freaking get the Chaos Emeralds in this one, it just gives you hours and hours of fun trying to figure out where all the special ring coins are. I still don't know what the hell they're called. But like, yeah. Trying to find a way to get the Chaos Emeralds, then you have to GET THE CHAOS EMERALDS! And, uh, yeah, it's... This is like one of the best Sonic Advance games. Well, there's only three of them, but... CRAP! Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't just die. But yeah, this is like one of the best 2D Sonic games, in my honest opinion. Now let's actually play this game so I can stop botching this. Aha, you ain't gonna get me that time, mouse bot. And going back down. And I was actually talking about playing this on Twitter, like, before I started uploading episodes for it. And, like, uh, I was saying how I was feeling a nostalgia and stuff like that while playing this. And I was not expecting this, but, like, a lot of people were actually retweeting and liking my status, and I'm not used to that, to be honest. I'm kind of, I'm the kind of guy who's used to, like, being invisible on social media. I mean, just for a bit, like, yeah, I've gotten attention when it came to my Metroid animations, it's crap! Ha 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 ha, bitch! Okay, let's get some momentum here. Like, my Metroid animations, definitely, I got a lot of cool friends from that. I did. And, like, uh, I'm just so not used to actually getting attention on social media for stuff that I post or make. So, of course, when I share my videos and stuff like that, I get no attention. It's like, eh, no one wants to see your actual work. Your, like, actual, like, hard work work. I mean, my Metroid animations are actually really hard work, actually, so. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I'm not used to attention. I guess. Back in like 2010, yeah, I kind of got a bit of attention when I started making Gamers Intel webcomics. I actually had someone who was a fan of mine meet, see me at Moorpark College and like say hi, and it just blew my mind that they even knew who the heck I was. I was actually drawing a comic for it too. So it was like, that was really cool. I'm just so not used to getting attention. Alright. Actually doing a little bit of an experiment here on social media. I've been making a lot of these like uh, persona, like reaction uh, poll things. Like, uh, who's your favorite of the uh, Velvet Room residents? Or who's your favorite ma animal mascot? Who's your favorite bro character? I've been doing a lot of those, and like, you push the like button, hearts, uh, care, and stuff like that for your specific character. And, dude, these have been some interesting experiences. 
experience like because you see like so many people say who they love and why they don't like the other characters or that they love all the characters and it's like hard for them to choose just one it's just like such an interesting experiment that I can't stop doing this <laughs> like I'm just having fun like making these things now I've only made so far the three and the animal one was the one that blew up the most like everyone loves ah, freaking night <laughs> Koromaru from Persona 3 and I was surprised that no like barely anyone like liked Teddy and then yeah like some people liked Morgana like but Koromaru just has not been toppled he has remained on top since I s that whole thing started I mean he's Koromaru he's a doggy he doesn't love the doggy Ooh, hey, we got one of those, and we didn't die. Man, gravity is a bitch here. Ow! Damn, Buzz Bomber. No, I was trying to spin. No, that ah, damn it. All right, we got it. Your Buzz Bomber, bastard. Yeah, I'm not used to getting attention and stuff like that on social media. That's that's basically what I was going for there. Back when I started Gamers Intel in 2010, yeah, I got a lot of attention from my friends and from other like people who were like interested in the comics. But after a while, like uh, I just became like the barely noticeable kind of like uh, internet personality guy like yeah people would notice me and stuff like that but I, I wouldn't like be the one who like blew up or anything like that like the game grumps or Markiplier or anything like that I was just a yeah he exists and I'm okay with that I'm not doing this for a lot of attention I'm doing this because it's fun I love making Let's Play videos, I love drawing my comics, love making my animations. I'm doing that all for me. And I think that's kind of important. Now do I like entertaining people? Oh absolutely, I love to entertain people. I love to make people laugh and everything. Wow! I just realized that that was Act 2 and now I'm on the boss. Oh crap, I missed that. Um, crap. I remember how this goes. I can actually control the gravity by pushing the up and down arrow. So if I want to go up, that's how I do that. I push up so I don't get blown up. Ah, dang it, I tried jumping over the leg. Gotcha, okay. I need some rings. Ah, crap, there were some up there. Oh, God. Ah, dang it, I missed those. Ah, crap! Okay. I remember how this works. Dang it. Oh, boy. Ah, damn. Hey, cool. Uh, you kind of got stuck there a little bit, Eggman. Oh boy! Yeah, this one's not really hard because you can actually control the gravity. You're gonna get hit a couple of times. Alright, cool. Somehow I managed to dodge all that. Okay, I do have one ring. Cool. Oh hey! I've never gotten the Sonic Boom Boost there. I call that the Sonic Boom Boost because you basically break the sound barrier, I guess. Wow, cool. And that was the easiest one. Wow, that took 14 minutes. Well, I did actually have quite a bit to talk about, I guess. Alright. 
And now we're off to this satellite. XX. We went from like an death egg kind of like place to this. And starting off right off the bat, this is going to take a while to do. So we will do this final place next time. See you guys soon for more Sonic Advance 2. The final of regular Sonic story.